All right, ladies and gentlemen, have another awesome video for you today. Where would you move, Las Vegas or Dallas, Fort Worth, Texas? That's a question in the minds of a lot of people. Now, lots of folks are moving to both locations from all over the United States, especially West Coast, East Coast, and a lot of the Midwest, right? So there's a lot of reasons that you might move to Las Vegas or Dallas, Fort Worth. And there's a lot of other reasons that you might not. Now, we'll keep it positive today, but you have entered a battle, ladies and gentlemen. If you're watching this, you're about to see two people throw down gently and ethically over video. But we've got an incredible guest with us. We have Leslie Stewart from the Stewart team in Las Vegas and Henderson, Nevada. Uh, she lives there. She has raised a family there, runs a business there, and will give you the inside scoop on what you need to know if you were to make the choice of Las Vegas over the choice of Dallas, Fort Worth, Texas. Now I'm here to win this battle and advocate for the choice of Dallas, Fort Worth, Texas over Las Vegas. Now look, maybe, maybe you agree with me, maybe you don't. We'll find out very, very soon. So here's the deal, Leslie, question for you right now, right out of the gate. First of all, welcome, glad to have you with us. Glad to be here, we're gonna make some, uh get some throwdowns here. That's right. There will be fists flying, but again, mostly ethically and kindly over video. So here's the first question. Why would anybody ever, I mean, anyone in their right mind want to move to Las Vegas, Nevada? Well, I don't know if it's a question of why as to why not, but nonetheless, mm -hmm. people want to move to Las Vegas. They're going to say they moved to Las Vegas because of the sales tax. But <laughs> the real reasons people move to Las Vegas, definitely we have some amazing weather, especially if you're coming from the East Coast. I have never shoveled snow in my entire life, nor <laughs> do I plan to. And then obviously we have amazing entertainment with the headliners that are here in town and the new residencies that are opening up, as well as our sports. That's a new addition to our city. And I love the restaurants that we have here in town. So you can't beat the opportunities of the finest restaurants here in Las Vegas. All right. I thought for a second you were actually describing Dallas, Fort Worth, Texas, because I think per capita, we might have more restaurants per person than any other place on the planet. But I often do travel to Las Vegas for tons of great food. So I can't argue with you extremely there. Also thought you were talking about our climate. Most people think of both places as extraordinarily hot. Last time I was waiting on an Uber in Vegas, I think I might have literally died, but then revived myself and potentially almost died again. But again, can't say a whole lot different about summers here in Texas. You can keep your bugs <laughs> and I will enjoy our five minutes while we go from car to store back to AC. So hey now, hey now, we were we we're keeping it positive and then and then we weren't. So here's the deal. Um, I would tell you that those are all fine reasons to move someplace. The difference we have here in the Dallas-Fort Worth area is we're centrally located to the entire country, super easy to travel to from just about anywhere, multiple major airports, tremendous healthcare, university systems, really an incredible blend of industry. We have major banking, we have lots of transportation, we have a burgeoning healthcare and research community. We got a lot of telecom. There's a part of our area called the Telecom Corridor. And really I could go on and on and on. Again, with restaurants and entertainment, we've got all uh, of the major professional sports and some of the lesser known professional sports. We've got uh, a pickleball community here that's actually blowing up. So we've got even some of those more uh, seemingly obscure but growing in some mainstream popularity items as well. We could go on and on and on on the big major positives. What are maybe some of the lesser known reasons that people move to Las Vegas that are really exciting or things people get excited about that maybe they don't know off the top of their head, maybe aren't the first things that come to mind? Well, I definitely think one of those gems of our desert is our desert itself. We definitely have a lot of unique um, nature and outdoor activities and hikes that a lot of people don't really 
resonate when they think of Las Vegas, but also the proximity as well is a drawing point as you're close to the Grand Canyon, you're close to Zion, you're close to a lot of the national parks. Really, you can go 20 minutes and you can be skiing in Lake Mead, or you can go 20 minutes and you can be snow skiing up in Lee Canyon. So we've got a great versatility in addition to a few hours drive to the beach as well. Okay, I'm not going to compete with you on the snow skiing, but we have a tremendous amount of water skiing. And we also have these really cool things called trees here. They're exciting. They provide shade. They help with clarity in the air. It's cool. You guys should check it out sometimes. I don't know if you really have the ability in your climate to grow them, but again, we're keeping it positive. So just a recommendation, we have something you might want to check trees. out. That's the only thing that you need to worry about because the reality is we only want trees for a little bit of shade when you're out at the pool and those type of trees in Texas, again, bugs, leaves maintenance okay keeping it positive low maintenance Keep, here in vegas low keeping it positive keeping it positive now listen i'm not going to fight you about the bugs but again the trees you guys have i think we're all brought in by developers again we're going to keep it positive we'll just move right along what about entertainment you guys have any entertainment there in vegas or just no? a little bit so it you know runs the gamut from concerts to your specific artists that you've loved from high school beyond <laughs> and you have um, all the sports teams that are here. We have family events as well. Obviously we have, you know, Disney on ice and Las Vegas is such a hub for the, you know, on the West coast as well, that all of those like Broadway shows all are traveling through here. In addition to a lot of fine arts community, we have the Nevada uh, Ballet, as well as the Smith Center, which also hosts a lot of these traveling Broadway shows. So, I mean, if you are interested in it, guaranteed we've got some group organization show that is here fostering that love of whatever your interests are. It all sounds really neat. We've got several billionaires that have invested in incredible museums, theaters, opera houses, show places, as well as, again, all of the professional sports. Uh, and we have it kind of in twofold because we have Dallas and Fort Worth uh, often each having those aspects. So you get a, a lot of variety here in North Texas. Talk about proximity. We don't have uh, massive gambling quite like you guys do, but we do have some alternatives just across the border in Louisiana. And from the DFW area, it's about an hour. So you do have some pretty cool options. Actually, the world's largest casino is there in Oklahoma. It's not the world's largest entertainment venue like you guys have, but the casino floor is massive. And those are on some of the Indian reservations near us. Now, one, well, one thing, thing that, too, Todd, that I like in Las Vegas, obviously everybody thinks and they know casinos, gambling, nightlife for sure. One right. of my favorite things as being a native to Las Vegas are some of the quirky things. So I don't know what some quirky Texas things are, but we have the Pinball Hall of Fame here in town. We've got a Harley Davidson. We've got a Shelby Museum. We have a Mob Museum downtown. So there's a wide eclectic range of opportunities for you to come yeah. and see some different things when you're here in Vegas. I think you make a great point. People who want to move across the country for obscure museums, you should probably pick Vegas. That's apparently one of their leading traits. Um, if you're, if you're looking for something much more valuable, you might want to check out Dallas, Fort Worth, where we have an international airport and big boy things, big boy and big girl things. Uh, I'm kidding. Plenty of so international flights here in <laughs> Vegas at discounted rates, just so you know. So. Uh, well, you know, you get what you pay for. Here's the deal, ladies and gentlemen. I know that what many people are watching this video for is real estate information. So what, what's my budget gonna get me in the Henderson, Las Vegas area? What's an entry level home look like? Are there, is there a mid range? Is there crazy luxury? Is there just a little bit of, is there a lot of it? Talk to me kind of what's the spectrum of housing look like in the Las Vegas area? So definitely as in most metropolitan areas, you can kind of like swing the pendulum to, you know, either way and find, you know, 
opportunities maybe for like entry level investments, mid range, mm-hmm. or you know your ultra high end luxury type product as well. Currently, our median housing price is four hundred and thirty five thousand. Okay. And um, but if you're looking at more of a Henderson or a Summerlin area, and you're doing maybe a three to four bedroom, twenty five ish. To three thousand square feet, you're looking anywhere between seven to eight hundred thousand, pretty easily. With you know prices kind of going a little crazy in our market. Okay, now for the equivalent here in the DFW area, our average is in the high three hundreds. Depending on where you look, it's such a large geographic area. Averages are a little skewed. So on the Fort Worth side, it's a little lower, mid three hundreds. On the Dallas side, it's a little closer to four hundred. And again, you're talking about seven or eight million people over a two hour driving geography. So it's significantly larger, which doesn't mean better or worse. It's just different. So the numbers you have to be a little bit more careful with. The entry point in the DFW area, again, is going to be at this point, basically low to mid threes. And those are really hard to come by in the current market. And then obviously you can find a lot all the way, way up into the double digit multi-millions, 10, 10 million and up. The vast majority of our market at the moment exists in that kind of 300 to 650 market. You can find single family brick built ranch style homes more than anything else. And then you can find luxury homes of every type as well as large ranches. And one of the more popular things now for folks moving to the area from out are small ranches. People that are moving to find, you know, two to five acres with a nice home where they could have room for the kids to run and play or a pond or horses. Does that kind of thing is that available in the in the Vegas area? Do you have is a little property? bit of available? It's definitely a bit more of a niche product, but there are some of those products that are homes that have more uh, land. It's a you know as most kind of an inverse relationship where the newer the home, usually the smaller the hot lot versus the older the property, you have some more opportunities for um, horse zoned as well. So we do enable a little of that Dallas flair. If you wanna bring your hat and your belt buckle, feel free, we will take it and add some sequins onto that. And, um, but we definitely have some, some you know good range of properties that really fit whatever you are looking for. Imitation is the sincerest form of flattery, Leslie. I love that you guys try to do the cowboy thing and you drop the rhinestones on it as well. Uh, listen, there, there's a lot that Vegas offers that, that Dallas Fort Worth doesn't, and there's a lot that Dallas Fort Worth offers that Las Vegas doesn't. If you've got questions that we have not answered in this video, let us know in the comments. Maybe you'll see a part two. What are some closing arguments, Leslie? Why would big picture, small picture, favorite things, most obscure things, whatever you want to share? What are some of the reasons folks that you've already helped move from say California or Florida or New York that have moved to Las Vegas? What are some of the things that they've fallen in love with or that you love to show them or that they're surprised by? Just last couple thoughts on why people are moving to Vegas. I think ultimately at this point when people are relocating, especially from different areas of the nation, they're looking for a different quality of life that they weren't able to receive where they're currently at. So if that is sales tax, or if it's weather, you know, whatever those draws are that are encouraging them to leave their current market, it's what we offer that those ones don't. So I love that opportunity to be able to start a new chapter and enhance their quality of life and move things forward that for them that they never thought was possible. Yeah, and both states really are have historically been known as super business friendly. So, you know, when we have folks moving to Vegas, we're sending them to Leslie and her team. So if that's the leading contender for you, you should definitely reach out to her. We'll get you her contact information here in a minute. For DFW, I think big picture people often move to Texas because there's no property taxes, because the relative cost of living is still fairly low compared to many other parts of the country. And then one of the big ones that doesn't get talked about enough is that Texas historically has been a really stable market, right? Um, Not to pick on any one other area in the country, but some areas tend to have the highest highs and the lowest lows. When things are good, they're better there than they are here as far as values. They go way, way up. But when they're bad there, they're way worse than here. We don't tend to experience the highest highs and the lowest lows. We have some ups and downs. 
but generally a more steady up trajectory where even when you have recessions and, and, and the country gets hit hard, Texas tends to weather those storms well. I think that's one of our better traits, a resilient, stable market. Again, you know, we can admit that we don't always experience the growth the way others do, but we certainly don't experience some of those downsides as well. There's a lot more we could tell you about both of these markets, and maybe we will do a part two of the video. If there's questions you have or things that we didn't uh, mention or things that you just totally disagree with, let us know in the comments. We'll both keep an eye on that. We'll come back and comment there, or we could take it offline and jump on the phone and help you make a move to one or check out both of these markets. Now, Leslie, if people want to make a move to Vegas, we'll have your information below the video, but what's the best way for people to get a hold of you? Best way is for people to reach out to me directly on my phone and we can have a conversation and see where you're at, schedule an appointment to do a Zoom consultation or in person and really unpack, you know, what your objectives are to move you forward. Great. And her contact information, including phone, will be below the video. On our end, you can just go to the ToddTremontiTeam.com, ToddTremontiTeam.com. Or you can go to texasfitfinder.com and fill out a short uh, little scorecard quiz. It'll take you less than a minute and let you know if Texas is a good fit for you. If it's not, maybe you check out Las Vegas. Obviously, there's plenty of other places to look. Let us know if we can help you find a market anywhere in the country. And Leslie, I know, would be glad to do the same. Thanks for hanging out with us for a little bit today, Leslie. Thank you for having me. All right, folks, we'll talk to you on the next one.